Hello my YouTube friends, try this again here. Uh, I thought I'd do a uh, folder review. I don't do a lot of them on this channel, or haven't I guess I should say in the past. Um, but uh, one of the reasons I wanted to do this is, uh, first of all, this is on the Civivi Vision FG. This is the white G10 and Damascus blade version. Um, very popular. They've uh, sold out of uh, most of the retailers that carry Civivi. There may be some out there somewhere. I haven't uh, checked every single retailer, but I did check all the major ones, and they're, they've been sold out. But there's still uh, the regular versions of the uh, of this knife still available out there. Um, but what I wanted to do this video for more than anything is just to ask you ask you guys a question. Um, what is it you want to see on this channel? Um, now that I, things are starting to calm down for me, I've gotten healthy again. Um, I'm doing pretty good overall. And uh, I just thought I'd ask what, you know, I've done mostly fixed blades in the past with this channel. Um, I've done a couple folders here and there, but for the most part it's been really fixed blades. I thought I'd ask you guys if, what you want to see. Do you want to see uh, see me add more reviews on folders? Um, and if so, on modern folders, budget folders, high-end folders, traditional slip joint type knives. Uh, what do you guys want to see? I'd appreciate it if you put down in the content. Because uh, without you guys, this channel is nothing. I mean, the whole reason I do this is, well, mainly to enjoy myself. I enjoy, I love knives, so I don't. You know, I can talk about knives all day long if you let me. Um, but uh, it's also just to show my collection, what I have, share it with those guys. Um, I'm not into, into doing deep reviews, but um, you know, I can try to do a little, a little more on the review side if you want. But mostly it's just to share my connection, maybe give my opinion on a knife. And uh, you know, there's only so much I can talk about with a fixed blade without doing the kind of reviews where where I go out like uh, like Grugs and Core Boys Cutlery do and uh, where they go out and just uh, bang away on the knives um, baton and making feather sticks all that stuff um, I just really don't have a place to go where I can do that where it's close to home I'd have to drive 45 minutes to an hour each way to go to the property where I can go and do anything I want um, camp all that whack away swing my knives around whatever without having to worry uh, there's a park nearby, but where I live, uh, I live in the People's Republic of New York State. It's a very uh, sheeple-friendly state. Um, a lot of liberals that, uh, soy boys and, uh, you know, oh my god, a knife, this guy's got a knife, oh help, somebody call the police. You know, I, I just don't want to even think about going there. So, uh, can't do it. But uh, folders, I can do a little, little more in-depth review if you would like. And uh, but I just want to know what do you guys want to see here for future videos. Um, but leave your comments down below. Tell me what you want. And in the meantime, here is the Snex Vision FG. We did a, a titanium version of this, more higher end. Uh, I think it had uh, 20 CV steel and all that. Um, was slightly different, but overall pretty much the same thing. Uh, the difference is where the pocket clip was up on the spine, and the lock release mechanism here, you could actually pull it back and swing it out so that if any lint or gunk or anything got up in there, you could clean it out easily without having to disassemble the whole knife. They figured on the lower end version, there might be a lot of uh, people that are new to the whole knife thing and they were afraid that somebody would go like that and the thing would open up and they'd think that it was the knife was falling apart and they'd complain and want to send it back and all that. So to avoid the hassles, they put a pin in here so that when you push it back, it will not go, well, it will not go past that pin and therefore the, the, the arm won't swing out. It's very easy to take out though. All you gotta do is loosen the pivot just a little bit, take the screw out, slide the scale up, knock the pin out, slide it back down, put it back together. You can do it in under a minute. I'm not gonna bother because that doesn't really impress me one way or the other. Um, if I ever, when it comes time where I have to maybe take this apart and clean it and lube it, maybe as long as I got it apart, I'll knock that pin out at that time. Maybe I won't, I don't know, we'll see. But uh, generally speaking, I am not into Damascus blades. Um, to me, it's just like too busy, I think, or something. I don't know. It's not that I think they're ugly, but for some reason, they just don't really speak to me. 
but this one did. Um, I mean, this is really cool. It looks like, uh, I gotta hold it down a little lower, I guess, so the light. It, uh, it looks almost like a Japanese, like the Hamon on a Japanese katana or something. It's really a cool pattern. I really, I really and the, with the white G10, I just thought this was a very good looking knife. So, uh, so I grabbed one. Um, I, I gotta say, I really like this knife. You know, you can choke up on it, get to work here. Came nice and sharp. The geometry's good. Cuts great. No problems with cutting whatsoever. I mean, it's. The geometry is on it very good. It's ground, uh, full flat grind, and uh, coming down to a very thin edge. So, Civivi is known for that. We and Civivi actually send cut too. You know, they're all, all part of the part and parcel of the same company. Uh, so yeah, good slicer. Like I said, you can choke up. You know, if you hold it back here, I can feel that clip. Um, I don't know why maker designers think it's cool to. Put the clip up near the top like this there's absolutely no reason this clip couldn't have been put down in the center because where the clip meets the scale it's in between the two speed holes they call them for some reason i don't know why but whatever um, there's no reason it couldn't have been put down here um, that's a hot spot now when i choke up i don't feel it so it's okay but when i'm back here i can feel that it's not terrible just for general light cutting and if i kind of fiddle around to get it just right then I can get to where I don't feel it too much um, just barely feel it but uh, for any hard use that's gonna be a problem I think um, for light everyday carry uh, you know open a package cut up an apple slice a little pepperoni and cheese maybe break down one or two boxes just just light stuff it's not gonna be a problem it'd be just fine but if you're doing hard prolonged heavy use that clip might bother you. Um, you know, everybody's hands are different. Maybe it won't bother you. Does uh, you know? But as for light duty, I'm okay with it. I have one other knife that does this with a, the clip up by the top, and that's the Sharp by Design um, Apex, I think it's called. Um, and it's up there because it's got the holes in the handle too. I don't know why makers put them holes in the handles. Uh, I guess some people like them. I don't really see the point myself. Um, I bought that because it was, uh, actually I didn't even buy it, I uh, did a trade with somebody. I did a trade with uh, Behind the Edge YouTube channel there. Um, I did a, uh, a trade with him on a knife for that. So uh, otherwise I probably would have never bought it, but I just wanted to check out Brian Nadeau, Nadeau's design. So I did the trade and it's okay. I like the knife, uh, you know, I mean, it, I don't carry it a lot, but it's more because I have so damn many knives that... Uh, you know, I could carry a different pocket knife every day of the week, and come the end of the year, I still hadn't gone, you know, wouldn't have gone through every single one of them. So, you know, there are some that I carry a lot more because I just absolutely love them. This may very well be one of those. Um, it's got, uh, I think it was like a 3.36 or something like that inch blade, something like that. Um, I don't remember the exact stats. I don't have them in front of me, but... It's a, it's a full-size knife, basically. Um, it's not a big knife. It's not a small knife. Very fidget-friendly. You know, I like thumb studs. I like to either thumb flick or do the reverse flick. And, of course, you can, just like the shark lock, you can do that with it. This is very similar to the shark lock, but it works just a little bit different. The shark lock, I, I should have drawn this out or something, but the shark lock... Has a notch in the blade, and it, the when the lock engages, it sits on top of that bar, and therefore the lock can't close. The, the, the blade can't close. This is sort of the same principle, except instead of a flat spot, it sits into a notch into the blade. So it's kind of like a dead works kind of like a deadbolt. They couldn't call it the deadbolt lock because CRKT's already got that with their uh, their deadbolt pivot um, so pivot lock. So, uh, but it works just like a deadbolt, really, like like your front door deadbolt. Um, very cool. I like different different uh, kinds of locks. It's kind of cool, you know. I I try to pick up uh, as many of them as I can. Some of them, the knife overall really doesn't impress me any because I don't like the design and I don't bother. But uh, generally speaking, I pick them up when I can. Anyways, that's about all I got for you today. Like I said, leave your comments. What do you want to see? Um, I'm running about to just under 10 minutes here. It's coming up on the 10 minute mark. So I'm going to end it here until the next one. Stay safe. Stay blessed. And we'll see you.